hi viewers welcome back cad designs youtube channel now in this video i explain how to use this drafted filleted pad tool already you know pad tool actually pad tool for purpose is uh, like extrusion and this one also same but with fillet and with drafts also now here we have one rectangle box this box size is 40 uh, 80 and 40 and height is 20 okay now i want to use this drafted filleted pad when you use this drafted filleted pad now sketch is necessary sketch is important here when you use this tool first of all create one rectangle sketch on the top face of one closed area not only rectangle create one sketch on this top face now this rectangle size is 80 and 40 so I create one small size rectangle and this one is uh, 20 and 40 like this like this this is 20 and this is 40 or use your bone after complete sketch click on exit space exit workbench now here we have one pad operation and next one sketch on the top face okay now use this tool drafted filleted pad select tool then select this sketch now see here here we have two limits first limit and second limit already first limit is count from base 20 distance from the top face to up to here 20 distance that is first limit and second limit is this top face so here we have there is no selection so select one face on the top face this one so here second limit is top face and first limit is 20 distance from this face okay first limit and second limit okay now see the preview you will get results like this now uh, i decrease this i'll decrease these uh, values just here we have three radius op uh, radius options three fillets here lateral radius first limit radius and second limit radius now see the preview and this is the output result now this is top side first limit side and this is bottom side second limit side so these four sides is first limit radius and these four sides is second limit radius and this these vertical four sides is that is a lateral radius if you want to without lateral radius just deselect this and see the preview you will get results like this next if you want to if you, uh, if you want to if you don't want this first limit side radius also just deselect this and you will get results like this okay now if in case you want to all radius just select all and specify requirement radius and next see the results now i want to increase this lateral radius uh, this is 5 after change the value see the preview now you will get results like this okay this is the uh, first uh, this option drafted filleted pad and here we have another option draft see here now this rectangle is not in exactly vertical okay here we have some draft angle applied <coughs> that is 5 degrees if in case you want to increase that degrees angle just change the value after that see the preview you will get results like this okay i want to only 10 degrees angle after change the value again press on preview okay this is 10 degrees and this is 5 degrees like this that is a draft angle see here now this draft angle counted from first limit side okay see here our rectangle size is this one now rectangle box is exactly here see here when you use this second limit side see here this 20 and 40 rectangle is base side and top side is decreased because of this draft angle this is a second limit side counting is second limit side next you want to use uh, if you want to get uh, this draft angle from first limit side just this select this first limit side let's see the preview like this now here we have totally two limits on a draft angle and three fillets here 
and this is the reverse direction we want to in case we want to get out uh, other side results so change the direction and see the preview sometimes it's not working because of uh, there is no uh, empty area in bottom side so that's why it's not working now okay and that is the reverse direction this is drafted filleted pad tool if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and next if you want to get more notifications from our channel just activate that bell icon thank you